You know, there's a lot of fans. They say, I grew up with Sonic. And this, that's not my that, Sonic. That, that thing in there. That's not my Sonic. That's not the Sonic that I grew up with. That's not the Sonic that caught rings every day when I got home after school that I spent all day with on Saturday. Playing on my Genesis. <laughs> they came free with the Genesis. They came free with the Genesis. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Boy, I never thought I'd say this, but y'all have made me lost faith in, faith in DTMerch.com, man. I thought that would have brought people together, too. It is on the internet. It is on the internet, man. I'm going to call everybody and tell them how I disagree with everything. <laughs> On that phone with that colored logo. Oh, but at least you got the gift of choice. There you go. Can I at least get y'all to go to DoubleToasted.com? Hell no. Hell, I mean, you, t- you, love, you love disagreeing with so many different things, but look how much material we give you to disagree with. So let's keep this going. Let's keep this going. Let's, you know, let's keep the fight going. So please, subscribe, donate, anything to keep, to keep uh, these live streams going. We get you so angry. That you got a comment. We're going to be at the Adelaide Hall in Toronto on May 25th. The doors open at 6. Show starts at 7. That's going to be a full night of comedy, games, and music. People, I know you want to see us tear this thing apart. I know you want to come in because all of y'all, you brought in your Sonic. And you don't want to have, you don't want to, you don't want to share that with nobody else. Can we just sit back and Act for once, please. I just dealt with Facebook. Can we for once please put our fandom, our nerdum, our geekdom aside and just be fair, non judgmental people? Can we do that? I'm going to play the trailer and I hope <laughs> that my pleas have not fallen on deep ears. Oh, is that all you got? No, but thank you for asking. Uh-oh. Martin ain't even seen his hedgehog yet, and he's losing hope right now. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, poor Martin about to cry over here. Martin was over here because I know what Martin, see, what Martin wants to do is Martin, the moment people start like getting mad about something, Martin wants to be like, I don't want to be a part of that, so I'm just going to act above this, but Martin's already broken right now. The moment Jim Carrey stepped on, Martin was like, oh, please, no. I heard him behind me go, <laughs> <laughs> y'all heard that? <laughs> oh, God. Look at this. I took nine million steps today. Stinger. Oh, Martin? Martin, you 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 felt bad for Jim Carrey just a while ago. We ain't done yet. Oh, hold on. Hold on, Martin. We got a little bit more for you. Oh, you you we got a marble sting attached to this. <laughs> Martin's like, I don't even know what the hell that means. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> hey, uh, let, that, okay, let, let me, let me, let me, okay, you know what? You let, let me, let me just, let me just say this. Uh, <laughs> because, like I said, we do try to be fair and always try to reserve full judgment until we see, this is a trailer. I want to reserve full judgment until we actually see the movie. But if I'm to go by just this trailer alone, what the f- is this? It's almost like the weirdest X-Men movie I've ever seen. It's almost like you got Cyclops hanging out with Beast who for some reason got Quicksilver's abilities. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah. I, this, is, this is weird, man. Now, and they're chased by the Riddler. And cha- yeah. <laughs> and chased by the yeah, chased by the Riddler. Slash mask. Yeah. <laughs> Completely ripping off X-Men and these things right here. It's like, look, I've seen this shit already, okay? Yeah. I ain't coming from a Sonic the Hedgehog freak. I ain't coming from a video game freak. I ain't sitting up here coming from like a like a fan or a nerd. I'm talking about somebody that just looks at movies and judging by this, this ain't working. Yeah, judging by this, it's not fair to judge a whole movie by the trailer. But based on what we've seen from this trailer, not a teaser, this movie's gonna be a piece of shit. I can even with bad movies, I understand if there was a if there was a demand for it, but wasn't nobody asking for no Sonic the Hedgehog movie? And I'm and I'm quoting you out there when I when I def, when I defended when I went in and defended this and said, you know something? Well, I don't know, man. I'll wait to see what it looks like with this moving. I mean, you know, we don't we don't know how this is gonna be. This could be fine. I mean, you got you you got a, a Pikachu movie coming out, and people right, and, right. and people said, yeah, but people wanted Pikachu. Nobody was asking for. 
Sonic the Hedgehog, y'all jumped on me about that. Like I was the one that actually made the movie. Like I did this. So don't come after me talking about, well, you know, I'm a Sonic fan. I wanted this. Well, talk to them. Because everybody told me they didn't want it. Now, <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't taking it from y'all. Nobody asked for this. I don't know why it's here. And y'all don't know what y'all and y'all have no idea what to do with this except to make these make these poor Sonic fans out there pissed off. The ones that were looking forward to it. That poor, there was a kid, Sonic kid. I played him for you before. That poor little kid lost his mind, actually got on meds, got his he got he became good, and y'all probably y'all made him relapse. You freaking bricks! <laughs> Velma's off her meds again. <laughs> y'all, y'all, why y'all doing it to this boy? This boy lost his mind years ago and came back and actually said, "You know what, y'all? I, I was going through something at the time. I'm good now." This oh, mother, no. he done, he done, <laughs> he done lost. He, this is him right now. Because you freaking fricks just can't ever be quenched. Your your fantasies can't ever be quenched. <laughs> This kid. I've never seen this kid. It's the internet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When, when, when was this? Is it a long time ago? Yeah, how long no. ago was that? Shit, this is about like eight years ago. Oh, was it oh, eight oh, years ago? Yeah. 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 yeah, this kid's in, this kid's probably in college right now. <laughs> There's a college campus out there where you hear from one dorm. <laughs> you fucking yeah, yeah. Fricks. He's in his dorm room right now. You <laughs> no, he's a college kid now. You fucking fricks! <laughs> Don't Yo. you know you're answering your questions right now? <laughs> <laughs> his roommate's talking to RA. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, you gotta you gotta make me change this. <laughs> <laughs> Before we even go into the trailer itself, we need to ask what blackmail does this director have over James Marsden? Yeah, James Marsden and Jim Carrey. And but mainly James Marsden. Because Jim Carrey, you know, Jim I, lost he, his mind a while ago. He, yeah, <laughs> exactly. He ain't he ain't done this before, but, uh, but he ain't stopped doing stuff like this. But no, you know what? With this director here, this is see, this ain't this ain't the first time James Marsden has done this. James, this ain't the first time James Marsden has been acting with a CGI rodent. I, you know, and I and oh yeah, it was another yep. movie a while ago. A while ago that you might remember. Yeah, I, now he's chasing his dream. Never had one formal lesson and letting nothing. Fred, why am I in a box? They even <laughs> get, they even got the same shots <laughs> in, in both movies. That's right. Hop. Yeah, Hop. You remember Hop? The yeah, scene? yeah I remember. It. It's Russell a forgettable Brand, movie. Right? What's that? Russell, Russell Brand. Brand. You yeah. saw that? No, I didn't see it. Oh, you didn't? I okay. did. Piece of shit. <laughs> that rab that rabbit right here is, is he shitting the movie out on James Marsden's hood right now. They it's almost like they use they're making the same movie except replacing a, a CGI rabbit with a CGI blue hedgehog. Look at the, the it's almost the same shot right there. Oh damn. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Look at James Marsden. I'll never do this shit again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, how the oh, fuck that again? Eight how years later. <laughs> You know, the funny thing is, Leonardo DiCaprio said he would do it, but I want you, James. <laughs> I'd rather have Leo, really? <laughs> I'd rather have your pretty ass up in here. <laughs> oh, James. <laughs> Shit. Oh, he did my call again. <laughs> I got another rabbit for you. <laughs> What's blue? With bad CGI. <laughs> and sit next to you. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you know what it looks like. It looks like James Marsden drives Uber in Zootopia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where you going, sir? <laughs> you staring at that tennis ball on a stick like that. Damn it! Here I go again. <laughs> what, what does he have on this man? He's making him do this eight years later when he should know better. Wait, it's not the same director. It's it? the same director. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Did you not hear me? Oh, shit. I didn't hear you either. <laughs> what does this director have on him? I don't care what nobody said. I'm looking at it from a point, from the point of view yeah, I don't, of, of a movie. I don't care. Have, like I said, I don't have any affinity for Sonic. I don't care. It's not like, oh, you ruined the character. <laughs> I'm just looking at a movie where Jim Carrey is doing the kind of comedy that he stopped doing about 10 years ago. Exactly. Goofy and mugging. And, and the, the, the CGI is some of the worst I've seen for a movie with this budget. And not one of the jokes was funny. Not one I'm hidden. And nope. I'll tell you why. This is, this is sad. We've made, granted, tiny advances, but we've made advances 
in video game movies or video game properties. You know, uh, that I can name some of my name later. You know, uh, uh, and you know, movies still got something to be desired. Castlevania is on uh, Netflix and it's good. Yeah. But you know, as far as movies go, we believe it or not, we made tiny advances. Uh, Sonic just took a shit on all that. Mm -hmm. This is shit. And I'm not. I'm saying that in every sense of the word. This is shit that came out in the '90s. Who uh -huh. film Roger, Roger Rabbit looks better than that shit? Oh yeah, and that's in the '80s. Yeah, well, 80, you yeah, know, yeah. The, the, because this. The reason why I'm criticizing this, and again, if the movie, believe me, I hope I'm wrong. Put this now. Y'all put memes and 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 and, uh, and sound bites of us out there all the time. Put this out there if it happens. If the movie's good. I will eat my words right now and I'll be like, well, that trailer didn't sell it, but I'm so happy to say that the movie actually is pretty good. There's no way. You never know. <laughs> Most of the time I say you never know. I, I, I've seen enough here. It, it has shown a lot. It's shown several scenes at different points in the movie. <laughs> He's like, I got a goddamn crystal ball right now. I know. This ain't this, happening. This, this, yeah, yeah, this is not, there's no, there is no way this is going to be good. It just looks lazy. It looks lazy. It it's look lazy. The only thing that's, Really, the only thing that was even remotely clever, and it ain't that clever either. It's almost kind of cheesy itself. The only thing that's even remotely, remotely clever in this trailer is, you know, they, they try to throw in a, a, a small nod to, to, to the actual uh, Sega consoles. They say, uh, uh, every origin has a genesis. genesis. Or every hero has a genesis. Hi, you know, because this was on the Genesis system. Okay, got you. Nah, but, nah. That is, but that is it. Ah, and even that ain't that great. Right, you know, right, oh, right. Hi, yeah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Sonic is the last thing, the complete last thing you think about when you say gangster. You never in a million years, if I say gangster to you, what's gangster? Sonic we'll be dead gangster. before we ever get to Sonic. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No. Oh, wait, I know. Sonic. <laughs> ah, you got it. Then I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Shit. Uh, Super Mario is more gangster than Sonic. <laughs> At least you could probably say he has ties to the Italian mob. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> That's even more gangster than his happy ass. That Sonic, that the why did they put that song in the trailer? It has nothing to do with no, Sonic at no, all. No. When did Sonic become gangster? That man said 80s. It ain't got to pick something from the 80s. That has to do with it. I'm sure there's a song about, about speed in the 80s somewhere, somehow. Sure. We just pick yeah. a song. Put, it's not put, in, put in Tommy Hager, I can't drive. 55. Say, say Say who? Sammy Hagar. Who would I say? Tommy Hagar. <laughs> Him too. He probably got a song better for this. <laughs> Sammy. But, but there are all these songs about that, mm -hmm. ab about speeding down a highway or something. Anything anything with speed. And from the producers of The Fast and the Furious, are you sure? Yeah, <laughs> or was it, say, or was yeah, it yeah. from the caterer of The Fast and the Furious? <laughs> from the guy who worked craft services. <laughs> yeah. From the producer of The Fast and the Furious, we family, except yeah, for that yeah, mother. Yeah, unless Vin Diesel's gonna show up, don't don't put that up on there. No, no, hell no. You know, I, <laughs> one I, producer I done, had like sixteen though. I don't said that the Fast and Furious can do <clears throat> a lot of things: go to space, ride with dinosaurs, being robots, time travel. But you can't do this shit. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't put that up there. Like that's supposed to make us like this. That's supposed to make that better. <laughs> now, see, come on, that is trifling. That no, that is. <laughs> that is. That's trifling. You know it is. Who the hell you think you are gonna sell on this? Right. I mean, there ain't no real deal to it, and that's the thing. Don Sonic is just a, a mascot for Sega at the time. He was meant to kind of compete with uh, with Mario. Nintendo, with Mario, Super Mario. But didn't he have a Saturday morning cartoon? Yeah, yeah, yeah he did. But, I mean, it was just kind of, you know, it was this fantasy where he was fighting this villain called Mr. Robotnik Dr. Egghead. Dr. Robotnik, Ro yeah. Dr. Robotnik Egghead. And he was just, you know, he was his whole thing, he was hanging out with Knuckles and... You know, he was collecting Tails. rings. I mean, it's, it was something that didn't make a whole lot of sense, but it, it went with the game. <laughs> no, I mean, what it was, I mean, like, you know, Dr. Robotnik would try to do something to the wilderness or whatever, and he'd foil them. Yeah, no, I mean, no, no, know. no. I'm not yeah, it's typical that. Saturday I'm morning. Laughing, like, I don't know, he's getting rings and shit. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, Because the game, that's all it is. He, yeah. He's supposed to run and collect rings. rings because that's the structure, the platform, uh, uh, right. uh, system of the game. There's even, this is so crazy. People can't make sense out of this. There's a dude, Robert Kruger. Email me today. This young man is bless his heart. He's so confused that he's got conspiracy theories going on now. <laughs> he's sitting up here talking about. He says, and I like this theory right here because I can't, I, I I can't even make sense of this myself. He says, I feel like every decision in the trailer was made specifically just to have people on YouTube discuss it. They just decided to go full what the 
<laughs> on purpose. The advertising is strictly for adults that want to see how bad it will be. Gangsters Paradise playing like five on it for us throughout the whole trailer. <laughs> I think that, I think this move would be bland, not even terrible. I think it'd just be bland. But they are trying to make it seem like it's like it's worse on purpose. In no world does someone believe Gangsters Paradise is the perfect song to sell a movie about a speedy hedgehog. That's from Robert Krug. I man, I don't believe in conspiracy theories, but I'm kind of almost with with you on that one, man. Because I don't know what the hell's going on with this. I have no idea. People online saying, "Yeah, when I said this is a flashback to the '90s in the worst way, y'all know what I'm talking about." I got a feeling we're not in Brooklyn no more. The most infamous video game movie of all time. Because why? Well, it almost the reason why it feels like this is because the problem with this with with Super Mario Brothers is that it was just they had a property. They had a very popular property. They had some stars and it's just and then they said, "You know, and fuck everything else." Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> you know, y'all before. We got the script, sir. Get that out of here. <laughs> that bullshit. Don't ever come in here with a script. That's just a waste of money. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you waste the paper. Yeah. <laughs> this was terrible because nothing. Dennis Hopper as Bowser, who is a turtle dragon in the game. King Cooper. Yeah, you know it's it, it, it uh, King Cooper. You know, it, well, yeah, Bowser. Yeah, Bowser. Yeah, right right? you know they. Uh, it, it it resembled nothing <clears throat> at all of the property, and that's kind of the feeling I think what people are getting from this. Uh, when I'm talking about getting stars and we just riding off of that poor Jim Carrey, man, I'm with you on this. Yeah, <laughs> poor Jim Carrey. Poor Jim Carrey been trying hard. To be taken seriously. And the thing is, I mean, he pours everything he has into these roles. But I know he doesn't want to do this anymore. No, he doesn't. The, Jim Carrey has been trying to be taken seriously on all fronts. He says, I'm out. I'm tired of being funny. I got pain. Yeah, yeah. yeah he you know. stopped acting to paint. He got, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Got a picture of him right there. That's him at home in his studio. He says, I'm painting. Why am I painting? Because I tried to be a serious actor and y'all didn't take me seriously. He was in a movie called Dark Crimes. Where he oh. was, he was, he was a serious guy with it. He was uh, playing a dark character with an accent, and the movie didn't do so well. So he's like, you know what, I'm out. But I mean, I hear that uh, something that he's doing right now is actually really good. Uh, it's a series on Showtime called Kidding. You know, I heard that this is uh, yeah, I've been hearing great things about great that. things about him. I've hearing great things about him. This is Michelle Gondry. So it's not like he's out. No, no, and yeah, he's acting, he's doing this, he's producing that other show, uh, you're, um, I'm Dying Up Here. Dying yeah, yeah. But he said, ain't nothing like that funny money. <laughs> 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 and that's why he's in here, he's Mr. Uh, Robotnik Eggman. Uh, Dr. Robotnik Eggman, which you can see. Oh, that, okay, yeah, that's, that's supposed a, to be. Yeah, okay. that's who he's supposed to be right here. So I don't know how they make that transition from what we saw before to this. You'll just have to see the movies for that. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, do I have to? Can somebody else go and just come back and tell me about it? <laughs> no, you going to be there, man. <laughs> you and I going to be hand and <laughs> hand. Hand and motherfucker. Man, this. Like, like Woody and Buzz Lightyear yeah. going into the furnace. <laughs> yeah, man. While he is going back to the comedy that he tried to kind of stay away from because he was doing it so long, uh, people are saying that, uh, you know, they like this. They, this is what they missed, getting sort of uh, almost uh, Ace Ventura pet detective vibe sure. from this. Allow me to clarify. In a sequentially ranked hierarchy based on level of critic. Okay, thank you. No, no. <laughs> yeah. maybe I spoke too slow. Yeah. <laughs> on, I think you did, man. Nobody, I'm trying nobody to help, man. <laughs> man, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be a little positive. Hold on a second, man. <laughs> no, <laughs> God damn it. You know, like I know, how that's gonna stand out. But like, oh man, you know, he's he still got it to it getting old real fast. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I tried to be positive. Even Jim Carrey told me. Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> There's some people out there that are saying, okay, seriously though, why are you being so hard on Sonic the Hedgehog and Detective Pikachu, which is going to be out actually for us at this time in about a week, why is this getting a pass? Not even a pass. Why is this getting so much love? And this other thing is getting so much hate. And that's a, that is, and that is a, a valid and great question. No. And um, 
<clears throat> you know, the problem I saw, and if something you know, you guys might see some too, and please add to it. But for me, the problem is formula and design. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, what what makes this look bad, uh, detective, I mean, not Detective Pikachu, but uh, Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, the design is what make, makes it look bad. Now, that's the original Sonic the Hedgehog right there. Uh, <laughs> Apparently, auditioning them, for chorus line. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Dolly. <laughs> I'm not going to say never, but some things were just never meant to exist in this world. <laughs> so, yeah. Some things just weren't meant to be in the real world. And Sonic is such a an exaggerated design that you're going to have to do, you're going to have to take certain measures to do that because trying, what you're doing is you're taking something that not, not only is, is cartoony, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a, it's an iconic design. A lot of people love Sonic. They're familiar with it. It's too familiar with people. Yeah. So when you take that and you start trying to put in a live action and you start tweaking it to make it more realistic and in some cases more human the shit turns terrifying. That yeah, yeah you know, ah, ah, you know this. It looked like they put little dentures in his mouth. While the teeth don't bother me to where the point I'm just gonna go in on all night. I do get it, you know, uh, uh, because it is such a drastic departure from the design that it has entered not only the uncanny valley but the goddamn terrifying and horrifying canny right there. <laughs> God, uh, the canny valley right there. <laughs> Yeah. He's looking at a picture of something. He's he looking at a mirror. Yeah. Oh, what did you do to me? What did they do to me? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, it didn't exist. Kill me now. <laughs> I honestly don't have a problem with the design. It's 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 the rendering that that I, yeah. I don't like. I'd see. I do in a way. Like I said, it's such a departure that they tried to make it human. Uh, in a way, have more human, have more human traits. Well, well, more animal. Yeah. You know, giving it all the fur and everything. Well, but it has the fur, but then it has the human mouth. It's got the, the like the, the 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 hands that look very realistic. Except it's on. I think now this is my reason, and I, like and I, and again, I don't. I'm not going to argue with anybody to say they see it the other way because it, it will work for some people. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying I understand the people that that uh that don't like it because. What you've done, I think I this is the reason why I think it's a bad design. Okay, I think it's a bad design because you have a clashing of the caricature, the cartoony mixed in not very well with the human traits. When I when I see Sonic with this cartoon face, but this human mouth and these surgical gloves on human hands, you know, it's like it look like he's about to murder somebody. <laughs> you know, about or to he's kid. horrified that he just did. Yeah, <laughs> or if you walked in and saw it, you would be horrified because you like. That's an abomination. Why is that thing moving around? Yeah, that shouldn't be. Why is that, that shouldn't thing be. Moving around? And you know, and I, and I think it's right up there with some of the things. Again, I think there's other things that have better designs, and then and even then, they don't work for me that much because they've taken a you know they they tried to blend them into the real world so much that they've kind of become uh, they've changed different or, or completely from what the original source was. Uh, biggest examples for me are like Garfield, the the Smurfs. You know, they 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 just bringing them in it's mainly with the eyes they bring them in there and it's just something about them where they do that and it just it's a little just slightly off-putting there's been some things again that have just been terrifying <laughs> Hiya, campers. what is that thing <laughs> get off that shit <laughs> damn you need 12 steps right now <laughs> no, i gotta say when i was a kid i used to watch woody woodpecker all the time and I've never seen him do that. No. Just throw no. his head back and forth he like that. Acting like crazy. he was having yeah. a seizure. There's the formula where the no, that's the other reason. They they see what they're doing is they they're taking a formula where they want to put it into the real world mm -hmm. because it's a it's a you know, it's a very again, very standard, very very uh cliche and basic formula that they have. Uh they either they either do uh, uh, the fish out of water thing. Oh, I'm in this like like the Smurfs. Yeah. I'm in this I'm in weird place. Uh -huh. Yeah. Or uh, they do uh, a buddy comedy. Or they go and do I, the. I'm on the run. And you uh, gotta help me. Yeah. The, on the run, comedy. they do it. They do a road trip. Yeah. We you hate know? each other, but on this road trip. We yeah. Like play. like the like the road trip. Uh huh. You know, <laughs> which again, I was even kind of cool with the designs of the of the of the chipmunks, but they got on my goddamn nerves, boys. <laughs> I'm terrified. Go get it, I'm terrified. I remember I saw that hung over one day. <laughs> oh, the juicy wiggle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, <laughs> remember that shit. I was, there were kids. I was scared because I was just in the theater. I was just like, move. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
This is why Detective Pikachu works. Now, granted, Detective Pikachu is a, I mean, it doesn't get more buddy comedy than it is. It's a cop buddy film. Well, I would say this about Detective <coughs> Pikachu. Wow, mm-hmm. I'm, you know, I'm not big into Pokemon, and I watch the trailer, and I'm not super excited about it, but I am curious. It's an original concept. Yeah. And I'm, I'm like, I, you know, I don't know where this is going to go, how it's going to play out, but I'm seeing things, and it do look fun. Mm-hmm. And funny, I was like, "All right, let's just let's let's see where this goes." Um, you know, I I had that some optimism about it. Yeah. Whereas with this, what, I keep wanting to call it Woody Woodpecker. Sonic. With the Sonic, I'm like, okay, say if I ignore the overacting, the bad CG, the the fact that all the jokes are bad. <laughs> Mars. What, yeah, what I'm left with is just a plot that's just tired, and it just it's just pieced together from pieces of everything else. And nothing, nothing new. You know, you no, you hit it right there. Well, who's I think. that? Who's that red Sonic? Like you uh, had a picture up of a, a, that's, Knuckles. That's oh Knuckles. yeah. Well, I'm sure the rest of them will show up. At some yeah, they'll point. have some like cameo in there, some know. last moment appearance. You maybe. know, they, they'll, yeah, they'll. And hey, maybe Crash Bandicoot will show up. <laughs> maybe at the hour and hour and thirty minutes of the movie. Then. <laughs> By then, you've been suffering all the time. Martin, did you say Crash Bandicoot? <laughs> I did. Your your fantasies can't ever be quit. <laughs> Man, you better, man, you better get it right, Mark. Right. Can't ever be quenched. Your, your fantasy. Oh, he wants to cuss so bad. He wants to yeah, cuss so does. bad, man. <laughs> that is not bad. That Crash Bandicoot and Sonic, man, are two different things. Oh. What will you learn? <laughs> you <laughs> freaking bricks. <laughs> what will you learn? <laughs> Ouch, what man. You learn? Call me a frick. That hurts. <laughs> yeah, Mark, you freaking frick. I'm talking to Scooby Doo. <laughs> man, with Detective Pikachu, uh, what they've done is they've uh, they've cre- what they've created, catered, they've, they've created a universe and a world that caters to the to the design mm-hmm. of these characters. As you were saying, uh, you know, there's more characters in there. So what they've done is they've created a world. They didn't try to create our world to have you know another uh, cartoon character or exaggerated character come in. They've changed the world where Pokemon already exist, but exactly. th- but what they did was they brought <clears throat> Sonic into like uh, pretty much trying to cram it into our world. They can bend the rules of a world that they create and have these characters look almost just like the original designs. Sure, because they can bend the rules of this world and do anything. They were able to actually have it represent the game mm-hmm. a little bit more. They didn't have to try to uh, like force stuff in there and yet have it not represent exactly what it is at all. The world of Sonic, you know, that is Sonic right then. I don't know how they're gonna bring it in, but you know, it's crazy. Yeah, it doesn't make you know it makes sense only in Sonic's world. Don't even go for uh, live action nah. if you don't have to. Right. Uh, I'm always, I mean, listen, it might work. It looks like it might work for Detective Pikachu. It's very stylized. I like that, so it works for that. Your other option to make it work could be go for a very hyper stylized, completely animated feature. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's why the Peanuts movie worked. Yeah, the movie's not even all that great, but it has an Excellent, excellent uh, design that actually makes the movie great itself. That's another thing that you could do. Just make it completely animated and do a style that actually uh, will will wow people before they even see what the story is. Yeah, well. Yeah, but that, right? (laughs) They ain't got time for all that shit. No. (laughs) Hey, what am I thinking, right? Yeah. While you were telling us all these ideas you got, we went ahead and filmed half the movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) And that's a wrap, everybody. No, no. Yeah. Keep, keep telling us these ideas yeah. you got. Chat, man, Maven. Stop bringing creatures to Earth. <laughs> <laughs> she had like an alien invasion <laughs> happening right now. <laughs> Goddamn Smurfs and chipmunks. And you got you to gotta build that space wall. <laughs> <laughs> get a space wall around. Yeah, man. Stop bringing creatures to Earth. She said, stop bringing creatures to Earth. She's mad. <laughs> she ain't going to have it. <laughs> You freaking fricks! <laughs> you, you, you freaking fricks! fricks. What will you learn? <laughs> People, we're not trying to jump on the bandwagon. And believe me, as much as I, as 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 I've talked about this movie, uh, I, I really hope nothing but the best for it. I really do. We're just having fun, but we mean everything we say. It's it looks lazy. No, don't no hell no. There ain't knuckles right there. <laughs> no hell tails. no. Now, t- oh tails, but uh. Is it real? Not, not, real? That's not real. <laughs> that's fake. That's fake. No, that's fake. That's fake.
it looks like, yeah, it's like a puppet. <laughs> no, it looks look like, like like somebody mounted, t- killed him, and mounted him on the wall. That looks like I'm, I look. I'm, this is gonna sound bad. That looks like a that looks like an abortion, <laughs> <laughs> right? I know you tried to get rid of me. <laughs> oh, the journey to the hell. <laughs> Not that easy. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here the whole time, Martin. I ain't even got hope for so bad that it's funny. You know, I just no, I don't no, either. No, you no, talk I think, about. A, I think it's just gonna be painful. I think it's. Yeah. I think it's gonna. I think it's. It's gonna be painful, and then it's. It's first it's gonna be painful just because of how poorly it's put together, and then it's gonna be painful because it's just gonna be bland and boring. Yeah, and we're just sitting there. Riding out the clock, waiting for it to be over. <laughs> then it's and gonna then, be painful because it's feature length. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, and they're gonna show it to us on a Saturday morning when <laughs> you are gonna come in hung over. <laughs> Damn, called you out. He's right. Uh, he no, he that, called. No, he's I'm, correct. He's called, no, call called me out, man, because yeah. he's right. I ain't learned. <laughs> hey, you go. <laughs> Shit, I, I ain't learned. I ain't learned a goddamn thing. You thought I would learn from them chipmunks? Yeah. I ain't learned. Uh, well, at least Martin, we got plenty of time to uh, we got plenty of time to prepare. I was looking at this. And I want to see the date that it was going to come out on. And it looks like, let me see here. Looks like it's going to be, when this comes out, it's going to be November. So, got plenty, really? got plenty oh, of time wow. to oh, brace they believe in it. Hey, man, like I said, who knows? Oh, it's not, you know, it's not the same director. Oh, it's, it's not. It's just him doing another <laughs> rabbit move. <laughs> oh, okay. I, would, I would love it, boy. But then maybe. Uh, let me see here. <laughs> it says, hey, Corey, you made a mistake talking about the director of Sonic the Hedgehog. The, the Sonic movie is directed by animator Jeff Fowler. Hop was directed by Tim Hill. Yeah, Hop was the one that, that was directed by the guy from Chipmunks movie and, and Garfield. Right. Uh, this is directed by Jeff Fowler. <coughs> what has he done? Sonic. Probably the first one, probably. Yeah, he said I, animator. I so. yeah. No, hey, thank you. Ryan, appreciate that, man. Do appreciate that. You don't want to sully his name, the other guy's name. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Garfield, too. <laughs> Tell two kitties, baby. Yeah. No, I appreciate that. Thank you. Look at that. You made it to the end of the video. I appreciate you watching. Now, before you run off again, please hit that subscribe button. And if you really love what we do, go to our main site, doubletoasted.com. Over there, you'll find the long, unedited version of this video, along with the live streams that we do almost every night of the week. Support us at dtmerch.com. And remember to always stay toasty.